example, our clients are investing heavily in new technologies, in new ERP systems, in new workflows, often on a cross-border basis and involving shared service centers. In this new environment, clients look for a new type of assurance that addresses the new risks from such an environment. Well, our audits are much more process focused in an environment that is much more standardized and automated. And through visualization of data flows and processes, we are able to help our clients identify processes or controls that could go wrong. Now, typically, we have the biggest impact using latest technology at those clients that have globally integrated their ERP systems. Well, many clients are currently on a journey. They are changing business models, they are changing the way they operate, they are changing their ERP systems. We provide them assurance, assurance that they are on the right path, but we also walk shoulder to shoulder with them to ensure that nothing goes wrong during the journey. As auditors, we have an excellent understanding of our clients' processes and potential risks. And while addressing those in the course of our audit, we make recommendations to our clients on how to further improve processes and also on how to automate controls. Now, through our reporting to our clients, they get a better oversight that helps them to make well-informed decisions. Audit is often referred to by our clients as a people business. I think in the future, it will be a combination of a people and an asset-based business. We are currently investing a lot in both our people and in technology. The speed of change both at our clients and in our business is unprecedented and it is likely to further accelerate. What will remain is the need to challenge our clients' business models and the ability to make sound judgments. We need auditors that are capable of mastering latest technology in an environment of fully automated and standardized processes while always having the big picture. <music>